Public health officials in the Northwest Territories have declared a tuberculosis outbreak in Yellowknife after identifying two cases in the city. Albert Delatella is on this story for us this morning following all the developments. Uh, tell us where, where this, uh, where this ish concern about an outbreak came from. Yeah, Chris, so they're, they're focusing on the emergency room of uh, the Stanton Territorial Hospital, and that's where uh, they believe there is a possible public exposure to an active tuberculosis case. So now they're tracking two cases, and we're told that first case, it was identified about a week ago, uh, and that person had been sick for a while. And then just over the weekend, they found uh, another case that was confirmed to be related to that first one. And uh, you can see uh, that uh, Stanton uh, Territorial Hospital right there. Both of those cases I mentioned, they were linked to another case uh, last year. Uh, the concern here is the amount of time uh, for that uh, first person who was sick, um, uh, the person was sick for an extended period, so there's more of a chance that uh, the person may have been exposed uh, to, to other people, meaning there could be more cases here. The main reason, though, for for this declaration is that uh, they're, they, they need to do contact tracing, and there's a lot of work involved in contact tracing, and that's a, a term we heard a lot during during the pandemic. It, of course, means that they're looking to find people who, who uh, may have been around those who were diagnosed, and then they may need to isolate, test, treat those people. Uh, CBC News spoke with the uh, territory's acting chief public health officer. His name is Dr. Andre uh, Caravaggio. And he says that the average person here really doesn't need to be too worried. For that reason, because of the extent of, uh, of contact tracing that will need to be done, we, we sort of um, are, you know, for, for the purpose of, of our public health system and, and the healthcare system, de declaring it as an outbreak just because of the volume of work that's going to be involved in following up um, all these cases. And Chris, they're being very specific here. They say anyone in that emergency room on June 19th between around 9 a.m. and 3.30 p.m., they could have been exposed there to get in touch with health officials. And if they're in the territory, they can call 811 to do that. That is the most important uh, part of this story because the biggest lesson from the pandemic when it comes to containing outbreaks is to do it early and contact tracing helps with that. So what do people need to know about these efforts? That's right. Yeah, they want to get ahead of it as best they can. So yeah, and that's why they're calling this a precautionary advisory and uh, and yeah they want to find anyone who is who is potentially in contact with anyone but not to panic is one thing they're really stressing here so they say that if someone uh, is confirmed to have been a contact uh, uh, the public health they will get in touch and uh, and they'll talk about the symptoms the possible symptoms whether they might need testing uh, and they'll also determine the risk of infection one challenge here though is that TB it evolves slowly often symptoms don't appear for one to two years, if at all, and testing even, it, it often can't take place for uh, about eight weeks uh, after, after the possible contact. So that's another added element to all of this. Uh, but, but they are wanting to get ahead of this as best they can, and their message really is that it is treatable. Antibiotics uh, can be taken if someone does test positive, and they do say that Almost everyone exposed to someone who is infected with, uh, with active TB, TB, they don't go on to develop the active yeah. TB themselves. For sure. Better safe than sorry, Indeed. essentially. Albert, thank you so much for that.